52 northern groups appeal to UN to support Igbo agitation for Biafra. Uh, this is a very welcome development. I wish every other group uh, would join in the clamor for a Biafra exit. Uh, Nigerian leaders shouldn't see this as an offense, having understood that the union is not working from inception. Let's even look at this, but before then, please subscribe to our channel and let's go there. Coalition of Northern Group, CNG, made up of 52 Northern associations, have renewed their request for global communities' intervention in persuading Nigerian authorities uh, and the United Nations to facilitate the final actualization of the Biafran state. Uh, CNG, in a communique, lamented over the worsening insecurity in Nigeria, saying the world should keep in mind that by far a destabilized Nigeria will certainly threaten the peace and security of the entire sub-Saharan Africa. To them, the world better act fast and undo the unworkable union in a very peaceful way so as to avoid a greater damage when things escalate. According to the spokesman of the CNG, Abdulaziz Suleiman, after an emergency meeting, the Northern Nigeria has never experienced the present level of exposure to criminals and bandits under the regime of Buhari. The group is calling on friends and international community, the UK especially, to intervene in the matter and bring peace and stability and listen to the demands of the various people that have stakes in the nation. So in order to avert a dangerous and ugly situation which is gradually developing, hear what they say. We finally wish to renew our request for the global community's intervention in persuading Nigerian authorities and the United Nations to facilitate the final actualization of the Biafran dream by the Igbo. In the South, gangs of armed IPOB militia, violent secessionists, and assortment of militant groups appear to sense a huge vacuum in capacity and political will by the federal government to challenge them, which they exploit with disastrous consequences on the nation's security assets, and specifically on northern communities and individuals living as minorities in the South, while the presidency wallows in deflecting the issue. The agitation for Biafra, according to CNG Group, is taking another form and northerners living in the south are at risk. Navy launches own security outfit. Due to the worrisome security situation in the country, the people of Newi Town in Anambra State has launched their own security outfit. The outfit came into existence through financial contributions and donations from sons and daughters of the industrial town. The idea of the security outfit is to complement the work of other security forces in the town. Prior to launching this new security outfit, in there we had several other vigilante groups which were now rebranded. Recently, the well-trained and better equipped for the job with uh, the acquisition of rugged pickup trucks for their patrol and quick response from innocent motors. Like other Anambra towns, residents of Newi will henceforth have sound rest at night, having in mind the area is secured. Prior to Newi's rejig and repackaging of their vigilantes, other towns like Onisha and Anzia have taken such steps. We can recall that governors of the Southeast region have launched a regional security outfit codenamed Ebubago, but its presence is yet to be felt on the streets of Nigeria. Eastern Security Network, ESN, formed by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, is the most popular one, known even though popular political leaders in Southeast are seeing it as illegal. Now, Ebubago vs. ESN uniform. Which security agency has the better uniform? Kosilai. The issue of insecurity has affected the southeastern part of the country. Many government properties have been destroyed, police stations burned down, prisoners set free.
The issue of headsmen rose the need for a local security network that is not governed by federal government. Eastern Security Network, ESN, was formed by the IPOB members to protect their people within the region, especially the farmers in the bush. A lot of families lost their lives while farming because of headsmen. Their crop has been damaged by the so-called headsmen and their cows, and attack on them to defend your farm produce you will be killed. The leader of the IPOB, Martin Namdekano, took it upon himself to defend his region, by, but the Southeastern governor stood against it because, according to them, it is not legalized security network by the federal government. That warranted governors within the southeastern region to form local vigilante group called Ebubago Joint Security Network. Their mission is to stop the headsmen from entering and destroying people's crop and killing them. Many condemn it to avoid clash of interest since ESN is already in existence, but the governors went ahead with their decision. The governor of Ebonyi State, who is the chairman of the Southeastern Governors Forum, launched their uniforms recently at the government house of the state. He charged them while addressing them to be of good conduct and protect the state with all they have. Comparing their uniforms and physique, which of them has a better security agency outfit? Meanwhile, Igbo group calls for disbandment of a Bubago security outfit, says it's pro Fulani. Igbo National Council Worldwide INC has demanded for an immediate disbandment of the newly launched Southeast security outfit known as a Bubago. Well, this is not the only group that has called for the disbandment of a Bubago. It appears Ebubago is not welcomed by majority of Southeasterners as the motive behind the creation is actually against Igbo interests. It is believed that from start, the Southeast governors do not really care about much about the security of the region. Ebubago is only an attempt to rival and possibly end ESN. The group said that this said security outfit is pro Fulani agenda hashed by the Southeast governors for their selfish interest. According to the group, Southeast governors are sabotaging the gallant and courageous activities of many community vigilantes and some pro Igbo self-determination groups which are working assiduously in defense of the fatherland. This said group includes IPOB, which has created the Eastern Security Network. The group urged the governors to wake up from slumber and stand on the side of the masses or be condemned forever by posterity. They went further to say that the Southeast governors have shown the height of their cowardice by readily giving in to such a self-destructive idea. From time immemorial, the Eastern Nigeria has never been characterized with act of terrorism and banditry till the rise of the Fulani regime since 2015 till date. The administration has made conscious efforts to annihilate the people and take over their land and convert the weaker captives to Islam. But we must resist this with the last drop of our blood, according to the group. The group is therefore urging the governors of the Southeast Zone to swallow their pride and hate to the voice of the majority of the people that they took oath to protect. It also calls for the immediate disbandment of a Bubago security outfit and appeal that a new process be adopted to unanimously establish an indigenous Southeast security outfit that will be independent from Fulani control. Uh, this is where we draw the curtain for today. Please add your comment on the comment section of this channel.
uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't click also on the bell icon to get our updates anytime it drops bye for now azuka oje says